like the right. So what we'll do here is we'll multiply by one plus cosine theta, both on top and bottom. So it's gonna be one over cosine theta minus one. That's horrible. And then one minus cosine theta times one plus becomes one minus cosine squared theta. And when these multiply together on top, we get one over cosine theta minus one plus one. Plus one minus one minus cosine theta over, and then convert this into sine squared theta. On top, we can uh, one over cosine theta minus cosine, we can convert that into uh, one minus cosine squared theta over cosine theta over sine theta. So I'll, excuse me, this becomes sine squared. All right, so these cancel out and we're simply left with just cosine. Well, it, th this is still kind of in the denominator, I should say, I made a mistake there. And uh, that's the same thing as saying the secant theta. And that's it, that's how we prove it. Okay, I hope this helped you out. I appreciate you watching the video and you have yourself a fantastic day.